Today we're trying out the brand new Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation and Primers. You have seen a lot about this product, but I was actually waiting to see if there was going to be a bridge in the shade gap before I used it. It turns out it's coming, but it's taking forever. So we're just going to jump into it. But before we jump into the foundations, if you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. Look at my nails, yeah. So usually I show you guys what press-ons I've been wearing, yada, yada, yada. For the past few months since May, I have not been wearing press-ons at all wall okay i've been growing out my nails and i've actually cut them down shorter by accident but these are my natural nails and i do them myself i've been looking for a russian manicures to go to so they can help me shape it better so i can continue doing it at home but yeah my natural nail <laughs> everything that i will be showing you to in this video today will be tagged right here so definitely check out view products tag if it's not there it is going to be located down below in the description box so definitely check that out both links are going to be affiliate so anytime you click on them and or you buy from it you're going to be supporting this channel thank you now let's go ahead and jump into the huda beauty easy blur complexion products Now, a few months ago, Huda Beauty launched the Easy Blur Complexion products. It says that it's a weightless, real-life filter. It smooths your skin, has an airbrush finish. It's medium buildable coverage. It has 1.5% niacinamide in it, has silica with no fragrance at all, and very soon will come in 30 shades. Initially, it launched with either 28 or 29 shades, and I think they realized that there was a gap between the deepest shade and the second deepest shade. So right now, there is a shade 590 that is coming soon it's actually not listed on the sephora website that there is a shade 590 but on the huda beauty website you can see that shade 590 says that it's coming soon and shade 560 is saying that it's sold out so i think that is also a shade that is coming soon and the proof is actually right here it tells you it's 29 shades but if you go on the huda beauty website and you count it they have 30 shades we're going to be trying out the huda beauty easy blur primer this primer has had its moment it is going in circles initially i thought it was a silicone based primer but it's saying that it's a silicone free smoothing blurring primer that can control excess oil my skin can get very oily to the point where you can fry fish and it will be cooked and crispy with the oils that show up on my skin let's see if this primer can actually get rid of this shine not not that i don't like my shine okay but sometimes you just want to know what it looks like without a whole lot of oils on it crazy thing is on everybody else who's lighter than me this product appears pinkish on the skin but on me it's kind of looking translucent and that is okay okay it blends in very easily a little bit definitely will go a long way on contact it does look a little bit kind of like ashy but once you blend it in let's see what it looks like after that it has a very cooling effect i don't know if it's because my studio is freezing or if this is what it naturally feels like for everybody else. i thought this was gonna be like the nano blur or the one size primer where you can physically see that your skin turns matte as soon as you put it on but as you can see my skin does not look extremely matte it does feel cool to the touch but it doesn't look matte at all what is it gonna look like under foundation like i really want to know now, now that it's dry i don't feel anything on my skin it doesn't have any color to it whatsoever like some of the other primers i talked about i don't really see a difference in my skin like on my natural skin it's not showing anything okay these are the two deepest shades that huda beauty sent over to me straight off the bat if i had to rate this shade range i would say that it wasn't very inclusive there's supposed to be two shades between this shade and this one so then hopefully i can find myself in one of those two missing shades something happened something had to have happened like at the lab or at Huda Beauty headquarters because the shades do not correspond with the pamphlet that was sent over, the pictures on the Huda Beauty website and the pictures on Sephora. Go in with a moisturizer and of course we still have the primer on this side of the skin. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the primer, okay? Okay, this primer put on my skin does not give me mattifying vibes, okay? It looks like it's gonna mattify my skin, but it doesn't. This is the brand new Huda Beauty Easy Blur 
concealer primer. I was expecting it to mattify my skin. The left side of my face with a primer on it doesn't look any different from the right side of my face without the primer on it. So I'm actually just gonna do my routine. No primer. I only have moisturizer on the right side and I have the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Primer on the left side of my face. So we're gonna try it out just to see. Because of the situation of the foundations, I'm going to definitely have to mix the foundations. If you use me as a shade reference, as it stands right now, I don't recommend you pick up any of these foundations because they're still coming out with shades that will be inclusive to us. So I put some espresso on and I added a little bit of hot fudge to it. I'm going to mix it before I add it to my skin. Look at this. Oh, maybe I need a little bit more. Put like a drop of hot fudge in it. And this is why I don't like mixing foundations because you have to literally remember the exact combination that you used. If not, it's probably going to end up looking crazy on. I should have just kept whatever it was before. Okay. Huda Beauty also sent over the base brush. We're going <laughs> to, I will use this. Oh, I love how dense this is. Blend this in. It dries down very quickly though. So definitely keep that in mind as you use the product. Oh, I did a good blend with this. The blend looks very nice. Okay, it definitely balances my skin very nicely. I feel like if they make that hot fudge shade, it will look really, really good. Let me know what you think. The mix looks very, very nice. I don't, I don't mind it. I just have to replicate it and make sure that I can get the same look on the right side of my face. That way I don't look like I have two different shades on. We're gonna try to mix it again. Um, looks like I was able to actually recreate a very similar shade and take it through a foundation routine so we can see what we get at the end of this routine. Did I make it too deep? I probably did, but it's fine. It doesn't look bad at Honey, all. honey, it looks like we're actually going to be getting a full eight hour wear test out of this foundation primer combo. Of course, it doesn't say how many hours it can keep us looking fresh for, but you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it pushing. I'm actually very interested in seeing which side of my face is going to look more put together. Where this primer needs to come through because I only have moisturizer on the right side of my face right right side of my face moisturizer left side the primer and the foundation is a product side going to perform better than the no primer side like i want to know okay the time is now 12 20 let me know down below in the comments what your predictions are before i come back and we can see i'll see you in a little bit <laughs> I'm scared. I'm both scared and excited because I want to know. The time is now 8.20. I have made quite a few meals. The kids have been washed, fed, and put to bed. And now we can see what my base is looking like with this side using the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Primer and Foundation. And on this side, we have only the Easy Blur Foundation without a primer base. I am shocked at how similar my face looks right now. With everything that the Easy Blur Primer claimed, one of the things was control excess oils. And looking at the primer side and the non-primer side, it really doesn't look like... It really doesn't look like the primer controlled any oils whatsoever. And when it comes to the skin itself, they bo both sides look the same. Like, I feel like if I just, if I feel like if you just go in with the foundation by itself, you will literally get the same results as you get using the primer and the foundation. As far as oil control, now when it comes to the blurring, the blurringness of both products, it looks like I'm getting the same amount of blur on the no primer side that I'm getting on the primer side. It looks like you can literally wear the foundation by itself without the use of the primer. Primer, no primer. It does not look half as bad as I thought it would at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just blot my face with a brush. So it's not really gonna give me like a mattifying blotting type of situation. I'm just gonna absorb a little bit of the excess oils. As far as the primer, the Easy Bake Primer goes, I personally would say you can literally get the one size Secure the Blur Primer or the Nano Blur Primer from Indeed Labs or the Milk Makeup 
Pore Eclipse Primer. These three primers are very good for oil controlling. They're very good for blurring and they're going to definitely help you get an even smoother look. Skip the primer, get the foundation. If you have a shade, if you use me as a shade reference, definitely hold off until, until Huda Beauty gets all the shades in order. I will let you know in a short and I will actually attach the shorts to this video so that you know that they're, that the new foundations have been launched so that you can check it out. If you haven't yet tried it, do you think you're going to find your shade in this foundation range? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.